goodness me. Uh, so coming up on the show, we've got a live band here with us today. Uh, they're, they're very aptly named. I'll let them narrate that to you um, and their influences for that. Canterbury's only alternative, CSR 97.4. Hello and welcome back to CSR. I'm here today and I'm joined by... Hello. Hello. Would you I'm, like to introduce yourselves? I'm Lauren and we are the band Stranded at the Jive-In. Okay, and uh, and, and why, why have you named yourself Stranded at the Jive-In? It's quite a... Well, the band is a 50s rock and roll cover, so okay. we thought it was appropriate to have a fun Jive-based name. For fun jive is Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and have you got any gigs coming up uh, at the moment? We're playing at Kingstark, which is very okay. exciting for us. All right, and when are you playing there? It's on Saturday at five o'clock. Saturday at but five But you should o'clock. definitely come and support all afternoon <laughs> if you do decide to come to Keenstar. Okay, which you definitely on. should. I don't know why you wouldn't. Okay, if you want some cheesy 50s, you can head on over to Keenstar. It's Keenstock. not cheesy, it's excellent. <laughs> cheesy and excellent at the same time. Um, they're going to be playing for a song. What's the song you're going to be playing? We're going to be playing Splish Splash Festival. Okay, this is Splish Splash by Stranded at the Drive-In. Splish Splash, I was having a bear. Stranded at the driving with Splish Splash. Um, there was a funny, a good cover of that on YouTube with a baby in a bath. Did you ever see that? I yeah, saw it. Oh, yeah. We all saw that. That was, that was really good. I think a better rendition that you can sort of chill out to on a Sunday evening with a nice glass of Ribena. You were the baby, were you? You've grown your hair since. Well done. I was only a baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we'll be doing a lovely interview with you guys, I think, in, in just a bit, um, and, and talking about the gigs and stuff that you've, you've been doing. You've obviously got a lot of instruments in here. Well done for that. I'd like to commend you for that, because uh, we take quite a lot, a lot of organisation and, uh, and stuff like that as well. Are you a bit excited for, for how the van's going to go? And um, what, is, Are these your first sort of gigs coming up, or are they...? Yeah, we initially auditioned for Keenstock at Woody's. That was right. the first big gig that we did, but it went really well. We were really pleased with um, the uh-huh. response and cool. everyone pulled it out of the bag. Um, uh-huh. And yeah, we've been just rehearsing really hard, ready for um, Keenstock now. So, cool. yeah, it's big though. We're really, we're really happy to be doing it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's very exciting stuff. So, okay, so we'll be um, chatting to more of the band members in just a second. And I think they're going to be playing another song for us as well, maybe? Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. And another song will be coming up. 97.4. 
Hello and welcome back to CSI. You're on the morning after show with Aaron and Joe. Howdy. And a bit of Helly as well. Well, Helly. Um, and we've got live with us today a lovely band called Stranded at the Drive In. Hello. Stranded at the Drive. Stranded at the Drive. Yeah. Mr. Hood. I slipped up. Stranded at the Jive. The Jive, Jive, Jive In. Can you do a Jive? Can I do one? Can you do a Jive? Yes! Yeah, go. Really Maybe the webcam might capture that um, little thing oh, there as well. Cool. Um, so, okay, how long... How, so you've been together a couple of months, you say? Not Maybe? even that. Not even that? Okay, really cool. So we're still in our sort of primal stages. Regardless of that, we're still best friends. Oh, how did you... How did you all meet, then? Um, well, our, our guitarist, uh -huh. who actually isn't here, he's got an exam later today. He's still like, friends with him, then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's a bit of a traitor, but... <laughs> they are uh, flyer asking for musicians who wanted to do okay, cool. this kind of thing, and uh, yeah, we all replied. Mm -hmm. None of us knew each other, I don't think, beforehand. No. Oh, but yeah, we, it's like know, a love story, but there's lots of people. It was, yeah, lovely. <laughs> who came up with the, the name? Who was the inventor of the genius pun? I think it was me. Uh, huh. Lindsay and I were in the library okay. discussing names, and I got so excited about the names yep. that um, I couldn't revise and I had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> However, she's already forgotten it because she put on. No, I didn't. She put on Facebook this morning. I'll oh, tune into CSR uh -huh. and made your face almost sick and said, "Listen, to Stran." Oh my god! Oh dear! Like, yeah. so I'm not the only oh, one. I feel a bit less guilty now. Yeah. Goodness me! Well, so you've got your the own name wrong of, of your own band. That, that's, that's fine, <laughs> I guess. Um, and so it's it's quite a medley the band as well, isn't it? So we've got lots and lots of instruments there as well. Yeah. Um, so you did you actually you started playing sax on the phone? Before the band. saxophone, exactly. love the Simpsons Joe's reference here, there, Aaron. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually called a saxophone. So, oh, right, um, okay, thank yeah, you. I've, I've drive, <laughs> drive. I've been You're playing... <laughs> Shut up! I've, I've been playing for about five years. Right, cool. Tim's a more accomplished saxophonist than I am. Okay. How long have you been playing, Tim? 11 years. 11 years. Goodness me, how old are you, Tim? 19. Okay, cool. Is that why your saxophone is more shiny? Yeah, wow. he rubs it in bed. <laughs> Goodness me! Um, I apologise to all the mums out there. We don't half eleven in phone. the morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast, folks. Um, and so, okay, and and you play? I play bass. You play bass, yeah. right? Um, does it wear out your fingers, the bass? Funny enough, yeah, I got uh, we practiced yesterday, and I have the most enormous blister, so I'm yeah. using a pick today. I'm okay. To heal it for Saturday. Do you think it makes a difference to the noise, the pick? Um, yeah, you? it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good or bad? I have difference. to unfortunately sacrifice the better noise for today's yeah. session, but cool. Yeah, the, the fingers will be back. Of course, cool. we're uh, we're grateful that you're playing for us today. <laughs> Joe, they're interesting people, aren't they? They're very interesting. Do you people. have any what? questions? Yeah, um, I, I'm just interested. Why this sort of music? Because obviously, you know, you're over there playing drums and there's guitars and, and saxophones. Why, why sort of all come together for this particular type um, of music? Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think we've been quite lucky in that we've kind of found all of us through this kind of flyer that was up that, yeah, we found these people who are all... We're just kind of all really... We're just all really interested in this kind of music. And I don't like... Yeah, I mean, we've seen kind of quite a lot of the Keenstock auditions and... Um, yeah, I, I, I'd like to think we're kind of providing something a little bit different. Like, mm. everyone, you know... Do you feel like you were brought together by fate? The other, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just something kind of... What were the, what the auditions like? Generic and were they... Were they no, was it nerve-wracking? What songs did you play? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, one of the problems with us kind of being like... Well, I mean, there's... How many? There's like seven today. But yeah. We're normally like nine. Right. And, uh, yeah, so it's been quite difficult to get us all together to practice, yeah. but, you know, because everyone's got a commitment. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't have much time before the Kingston mm. auditions, but, yeah, I mean, it, it went really well. We, we kind of got quite a good reception, I think. And, uh, okay, and would you ever think about writing your own music and stuff? Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think with this kind of thing, it's kind of... Um, it's nice to play songs that everybody knows. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think for, nice what doing, for what we're doing, for what we're doing, that's... I think that's most important to, yeah. to and I think because it's dancing. like because it's music that's kind of like so set in a specific era like like I mean I, I, I've come across a, come, you know, a couple of bands like recently in you know modern day who've tried to like write their write songs in their own in write their own songs in the kind of 50s yeah. style and it's I think it kind of comes across as kind of quite corny and I think okay. the best way to do it is Nostal playing this kind of stuff. Nostalgia is kind of half of the, the appeal yeah, of this yeah, sort of music, exactly. isn't it? It's, yeah. 
it's kind of listening to those kind of classic songs that, that yeah. Yeah, yeah, the reason people listen to that sort of thing. It's great as well, because like, it's so old, but every, I'm sure everybody at uni will enjoy it, even though it's before their parents' era, even. Oh. It's, um, well, I was outside that, there having a jive. We saw you. They look like John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that. cool. Um, and one last, one last question. Um, who are you? Are you going? Is Battle of the Bands sort of thing, right? A cane stop? Is it? Is yeah. It, yeah. And, and do you know who you're, who you're going against? Or we, yeah, we saw a couple of the bands in our audition, uh-huh. uh, but as far as I understand, there's a couple of rock bands. There's, there's a few acoustic right. bands. They're all fantastic uh, musicians. So uh-huh. singers as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I've said it, but yeah, I think um, I'd like to think that we're kind of quite proud that we're providing something slightly different yeah, for, absolutely. Um, for Saturday. So, yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Well, we're looking forward to your second song. What's your second song going to be? Tutti Frutti. <laughs> Tutti Frutti. Oh, okay, is that a French turn on it? Or is it just, yeah. Yeah. Theo's I'd French and he says it in a, in a very hilarious As, way. Theo, yeah, come over and introduce it. <laughs> Are we playing it now? Um, I'll get a song on. We'll get a song on after this. Let yeah. you prep up, and yeah. uh, and then we will uh, we'll okay. be back well, after. Just just purely after for the this. radio listeners. At the moment. <laughs> this is lovely drummer, by the way. This is Theo. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Theo. Uh, hi, Theo. Oh, we are standing at the Givin. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to play uh, a song called uh, Tutti Frutti. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Strand is at the Givin with Tutti Frutti. <laughs> Excellent. Um, my God. Well, that I was felt, great I felt, fun. I'm sitting down but I felt like I needed to dance with my bottom. Is <laughs> that <laughs> a good thing? Bad thing? Bottom Don't, dancing, yes, yeah, alright. Do a bottom dance. Should we do a bottom dance together? Did you bottom do, dance? Do, 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 did, but I feel like, you know, when a dog has worms and it sort of. Scoots. Scoots is the only word that can be used to describe that action. Scoots across the garden. Don't do that if you're a dog. That was really good. Thank you guys uh, for that. So we can see you at the Kane Stock Festival on Saturday at what time are you on the stage? We're on at five, on but at five, you should yeah. come all afternoon. I think it starts at two. Okay, cool. So we're uh, it's at Keynes College in the garden. Uh huh. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> okay, I'm sure we'll have some lovely weather for that as well. So yeah, pop down there at two o'clock, Kings College at Kingstock, and you'll be able to see these lovely guys here stranded at the Jive Inn. Is that okay? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Cool.